Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Joanne. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On this channel, I like to post movie and TV reviews, travel content, New York City content, because that's where I live and I just love this city so much that I want to show it to the world. So if you're into that sort of thing, please consider subscribing. I've been growing the channel and it's been growing a lot the last couple of weeks. So thank you to everyone that has subscribed. So if you want to join me every week, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified next time I post a video. On today's video, I'll be reviewing the movie The Iron Claw, which is based on the first one of the first wrestling families, the Von Erich family. They were a family that consisted of four brothers and the dad, uh, and they were very popular during the 70s and 80s. So the synopsis of the Iron Claw reads as follows. The true story of the inseparable Von Erich brothers who make history in the intensely competitive world of professional wrestling in the early 1980s. Through tragedy and triumph, under the shadow of their domineering father and coach, the brothers seek larger than life immortality on the biggest stage in sports. The Iron Claw was directed by Sean Durkin and it stars Zac Efron, Jeremy Allen White and Harris Dickinson and it was produced by A24 and I love me a good A24 movie and this was just up that alley. It was really good. If you're not familiar with the Van Erich family, they were four wrestlers who rose to fame in the 70s and 80s. Uh, they were very popular and they were pretty much controlled by their dad, who was also a wrestler before them. And all of them, except for one, had a very tragic fate, dying one by one at an early age. Spoiler alert. The Van Erich brothers were all led by their father, and this man has to be the Joe Jackson of wrestling. He was ruthless to them. If you're into wrestling and you're a fan, you are probably familiar with this uh, family. They were the subject of one of the episodes for the Dark Side of the Ring and they were inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2009. The film premieres uh, December 22nd, that's next week. I was fortunate enough to attend a, an advanced screening by AMC and I watched it last night. And just FYI, I might be spoiling this movie, um, but this is based on a true story so there are spoilers everywhere there's tons of articles about this family i wasn't really familiar with them um but i like i said i like a24 so when i saw the trailer it seemed interesting especially because i'm a fan of wrestling myself but i wasn't really familiar with this um uh, family since they were in like the 70s and 80s before i was born but I did a quick Google search and learned there is very sad and tragic story. I watched this 30 minute documentary on YouTube. I'll leave the link in the description in case anybody wants to see it, which kind of breaks down their whole history. Although this movie is based on a real family uh, and the events that happened in the movie did happen in real life because um, I read a bunch of articles and it was mentioned in the documentary but the in-between how the dad treated the boys i'm not sure how much of that was real and how much of it was just added to add suspense and more drama to the film because after watching that film i blame the dad for everything that happened to those to those boys because this man was awful he was really controlling controlling their lives i feel like he was living through them because he never made it to the top so he was pushing them to make it to the top and he was pushing all of them into pro wrestling because his dream, the dad's dream, was to, uh, to get the NWA World Heavyweight Championship to his house. And he never had that chance when he was wrestling. So he's making all his sons wrestle so they could get to the top. So the uh, championship could finally come home to the Von Erich family. And the poor sons would do anything the dad would tell them to do. One of the sons was supposed to be an Olympian. And I guess during this time they had canceled the Olympics. So uh, when he came back home, he's like, well, you might as well just join pro wrestling. And the guy was like, OK, sure. I think only one of them really wanted to be a pro wrestler and all of them were just doing it because their dad wanted them to do it. And they just wanted to please their dad. And even though they had like this beautiful relationship as brothers, they were all kind of fighting um to get his attention and get his approval so when the dad was a wrestler his finishing move was the iron claw which is the name of the film 
but i think this is also a metaphor how of how the dad was controlling those boys because he was holding them tight in his own iron claw so the movie focuses on the relationship between the brothers and their father and how they were affected by their father's controlling grip and pro wrestling as they got older this movie was really sad and depressing. I was crying at the end. But they do a really good job of building up to that sadness and that moment at the end where you are just gonna break down and cry. Sean Durkin, who is the director, he also wrote the movie. He did a really good job of introducing us to this beautiful relationship between the brothers. So at the end, when there's only one left, we really feel that pain. The actors did an amazing job portraying the Von Erich brothers, especially Zac Efron, who does a really good job of portraying the surviving brother, uh, Kevin Von Erich. I wasn't really sure what to expect of Zac Efron in this role, because the last thing I saw of him was Baywatch, and that doesn't require any good acting. Actually, no, that was a lie. The last movie I saw of him was Firestarter, and that wasn't good either. So I was really impressed with his performance in the Iron Claw. This is the best thing I've ever seen him do. He trained for this and he gained all this muscle. You see him in his body, he's like jacked. And he said he trained for six months for this role. So he did a really good job, not just physically, but like his acting was top notch. I hope that for the Oscars they nominate him for this because he deserves it. He did a really good job at internalizing the pain that Kevin was going through, the character, and just internalizing all those emotions. And it was just so subtle the way he was doing it that it just makes you feel for him every time. So in the last scene, because throughout the movie he's been internalizing all this pain because his dad He's like this awful man and he raised them to be men and you can't cry and you can't show emotions. So at the end, he's been like boiling up all these emotions and there's a, the last scene is him. He has two sons now who are playing and he just, this is when all the brothers are no longer around with him. So he just starts, he breaks down and cry because he misses his brothers. And it's just such a sweet moment. I broke down in tears when that was happening. The actor that plays the dad, Holt McCallany, he was also really good. All of them were really great. The film overall was really well done. It had that old school feel to it and you just feel like you're watching something from the 70s. It like transports you to that era. And I really loved how they incorporated the like 1970s wrestling shows like the old school wrestling shows into the movie and it just makes you feel like you're watching it back then. The movie was paced really well. It didn't drag and I never felt like, oh my God, can this movie end already? The movie's two hours and 10 minutes and it just it doesn't feel like two hours and 10 minutes. I was engaged throughout the whole movie. And although this is a sad story, there are some funny moments. There's a scene when everyone at the theater started laughing because they're at the breakfast table and the dad, he's being hard on like one of the younger kids. Cause I don't, I don't think he was like fast enough or something. Um, I don't remember what they were arguing about, but I remember the dad, he goes, well, you know, my favorite is Kevin. And then goes this one, that one, that one, then it's you. <laughs> and we all just started laughing. I'm like, oh my God, he, did he really just say that to his kid? Mind you, the kid is already sad because his dad is like being hard on him. And then the dad is telling him that you're my least favorite son. And then he goes, but you know, the rankings can always change as long as you work hard. And everyone started laughing at that. Because why would you say that to your son? He was a terrible father and the mom wasn't that great either. There was a scene like after the breakfast when Zac Efron goes to his mom and she's, he's like, can I talk to you? And she's like, oh, that's what your brothers are for. <laughs> he all started laughing. I'm like, damn, this lady, this, this parents shouldn't be having kids they're like awful the actress that played the mom uh maura tierney she was also really good i mean everybody was good give everyone a nomination they were all just like really good at hiding their emotions and internalizing everything and like trying not to show it but you can tell that they were suffering inside so they did a really good job at doing that so i was just impressed with all of them Overall, this is a great film. The film is grounded in reality and is driven by the actor's performance to tell this really moving and tragic story. And I think they all deliver. I gave this movie four stars. Uh, that's how good it is from the performances 
to the script it was so physical you can tell they put a lot of work into it so uh if you're a fan of wrestling i highly recommend you watch this movie and if you're not a fan of wrestling and you're just a fan of great storytelling and moving performances i suggest you watch the iron claw which is out december 22nd and that is the review thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment down below and share if you're planning on seeing the iron claw or what movie you plan to watch this holiday season i hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world until next time bye